Hello folks and welcome back to Court Forum. Here we are with our lorry here at hand. We've got some equipment to sell. So yeah, we're going to be selling our mower, our old John Deere and our Colossus Combine. Yep, yeah, it is harvest season and we really should have kept the Combine but... Yeah, I actually think there's not much use of it. Like when we did the wheat and that, when we was using the our new combine, the cloth buried the field by the time we did half the field, so just because of that and it's depreciating the value, we're selling that. The old John Deere tractor, 105 horsepower. Yeah, it was cute at the time, but now it's getting to the point where really you can do a second tractor, well, third tractor on the farm. With a bit of decent power, around 250-ish horsepower. And that's what I've gotten done is we have bought a new tractor, another John Deere, a bit more modern. And also we bought a service vehicle, a service truck, so we can work our equipment in the field. So rather than having to take to the workshop all the time, we need to do the service in the field, or especially refuel in the field. And I have crashed. Why is that not a surprise? Go. Uh, come on. Get in. Don't turn down the approach run, so. Just bear with me a sec whilst I just readjust myself here. So, yeah, with that sort here, let's just give these just a bit of a quick wash. The cloth is fine, but yeah, just give John Deere. And yeah, we're selling the mowers because we don't really need the mowers and that. Because I've got an idea of when we do our big mowing session, we can lease out the wind rower. And also, I'll speak to the dealership. Well, I have technically spoken to the dealership already. And there is a possibility of us borrowing one of these to chrome. No, not the ABCC. 66 but the chrome big m450 obviously initially that'd be about 19 grand to lease but i've heard for when we use it that only costs us like a quarter of that and no additional fees on top and that's the thing that's because we've got a good relationship with the ship like like with these we'll have a look at these in a sec but we've got those at a thing about a fifth 17% discount, 15, 17% discount, so yeah, overall not too bad, but yeah, so let's go and service everything, repaint, service, repaint, service and repaint, and let's just sell these, there we go. So yeah, with all that sold, we're back up to f almost 300 grand. And actually, you know what? This we will turn as well back to the deer ship. So yeah, let's have a little look at what we've got here. So first of all, John Deere 8410. So a bit more modern, about a decade or so newer compared to what we had before. 32 miles an hour top speed, it's got wide wheels with weights. There is options for duties, I may get with that duty option at some point. But not for the time being. I do like it when you get into the cab. Just adjustable steering comes, so when you're in, bring it forwards. And when we're done, just put it back, switch the engine off, and then hop out. But now, our service truck, so this is the service truck here, and it's got all sorts, it's got a jack, generator, a press, it's got all sorts of stuff we'll need, including fuel, so when we want to top up our vehicles, that's already got a thousand litres of reserve fuel in the tank, so yeah, we can pretty much fill up anything, apart from our combine. So I think the combine holds 1,300 litres. 
See, it's got a hitch system there. Also, it's got a fifth wheel attacher here, so... I think, really, if it's a... Uh, yeah, it's doing have to be cheap. Actually, wait a minute, what about under our traders? Cause, yeah, I just want to have a little quick test look here, so... Oh no, not that. Well, we could try that, but... So yeah, use the neck and that, so... Let's give a little quick test and that. Yeah. So in theory, I should just hook on fine, right? There we go. So yeah, we can hook on to the fifth wheel of anything. Including lorries and that. Well, not lorries, or lorry trainers and that. But I don't think we're going to have the horsepower because this is only. Yeah, this is a 262 horsepower. I may go with a engine swap in that at some point. But yeah, there's all the equipment already up for sale. And yeah, look at that class 72% off, 54 hours. That is just huge, but heck it, if someone wants a cheap old combine, the Kloss is a very good combine. At 72% off, that is an absolute bargain. So yeah, let's get everything back to the farm, because we need to do harvesting. I think what we'll do is finish off the chaff work, so yeah. Let's go and do that, shall we? And there we go, let's just finish off this harvest thing, it takes too long. I think it's going to be at least another load and change. Because remember, we've already got in the realms of 250,000 litres already at the main farm, at Port Farm Country Park. However, we do have the option to use a bunker silo at Stainbridge Farm if we wish we need to use it, so if you've got any like overspill in that, like we can't get in, we can like, ram it in and all that, then yeah, that's an option for us, but yeah, let's see how this goes with this, and let's quickly get started with a little short time lapse, and then yeah, we'll go on to the main point, and that's going to be the filking harvest, yeah, just remember what we're doing, yeah, filking harvest, so yeah, thank you. <laughs> Well, I'm losing the plot. We'll get us done, and I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done here.
go. We've got the side stun and compacted and covered. And yeah, it was something in around about 350,000 a year, so yeah, not too bad of a hole. I should have think it's a bit more now, there's 400 actually. But yeah, so it is absolutely raining at the moment, and there's no sign of it easing. Yeah, I think we're looking at for at least a f couple of hours, three or four hours. I should know it's where it's changed since last check, so two o'clock. Rain's going to stop, so that's good. Oh, look at that, nice little rainbow. But yeah, we're heading to the store, because... I've gone inside to buy some extra products for the apple production, or for the, specifically, apple honey. So yeah, we need a few things for apple honey. So we have a look, we need honey and sugar. I thought, heck it, buy some cheap honey and sugar. And we should make our money back on that. Actually, we will make our money back. Not much, but we should again, there's something different, it's a little experiment in that. So yeah, let's go and have a look here, shall we? Let's go turn in here. Okay. Okay, this doesn't have the greatest of turning circles and steering. Okay, that is a downside to the tractor, the steering, but that I can work with and manage, so... Actually, since we've got the pickup here as well, maybe I'll either get that on or the tractor on. But yeah, so what... How many sugar do we get? So one, two, three, four, eight pallets of sugar and 60 pallets of honey. Since honey is like twice as much usage, I think. Well, no, four times as much usage, so we may need to buy some more honey. I may buy another set of eight, but we've got more than enough for now. And also, what I've done is stop selling the apples. We're going to let them spawn, and we're going to store them in the new pallet facility we've got. Or not, we got, we got access to. Oh, well, actually, it reminds me. I have not paid the cooperative yet for that access, so let's go and pay the bank. So it's ten grand. There we go. And yeah, and come towards end of every year, we need to pay a certain percentage of our crops that we use in that facility. So if we store a green in there or whatever. You need to, of course, make a little payment, even like one and a half percent, two percent. So overall, not big of an issue, but yeah, the weather is absolutely howling down at the moment. So let me get something up a sec, and then we'll go to said apple facility and just get something up. But yeah, there's something different to do. Apple juice we're doing. But why not apple honey? And there we go, so yeah, we've got everything loaded up. We've got 10,000 litres of honey and 8,000 litres of sugar, but obviously, that's going to use the honey before, and that's going to be empty before the sugar, so if needed, we can top up. I think we can maybe get some bees in, you know, to mitigate that, so. Because yeah, we can place some beehives down all over the place. One that will help us with our crops and that, with giving that a bit of a yield boost. Yeah, turning circle, as we know, not really existent with this. I think having a massive pickup ooh, with a thousand litres of fuel also probably ain't helping too much, but oh well. So turn off the hazard lights on our indicators. So our beacon's on. But yeah, the weather is absolutely abysmal. But yeah, I think we'll pay like 25 ish grand for this, so it's going to be worth it in the end. There we go. Well, that's going in. Can 
do to pick up here actually. There for now. So yeah, let's have a look at everything. Ooh, we've got some more apple juices. So yeah, we're gonna have a look. Uh, has, has a little quick auto save. So yeah, it hasn't turned on, but we'll easily turn it on ourselves. So it does 2,400 cycles per month. So Asuka used the sugar in 4,800 litres a month so just under two months that's going to be empty and the honey that's going to be emptied within a month so yeah I think we can do it get some beehives down so let's go and do that so go to our animals go to bees okay I don't have the extra pallet spawn option but that we can mitigate so yeah, I was going to have like, a few of these just dotted about. Yes, I know I don't have any one for it to spawn. I know. Don't need to tell me this. So yeah, I'm thinking, have one there. One there. Just wouldn't have it within the vicinities of most of our fields. So, you know, just bees all over the place. Nowhere too concentrated. Okay, no, 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 fills over there. Also, I do want to be cautious of where we put these, so. Because obviously, this is going to be a crop as well at some point. So I'm thinking somewhere there. A bit of terrain work. I'm not too fussed on that. Yeah, a little bit of terrain, not an issue for us. And yeah, it's going to be quite a bit of money spent on this, but I think it's going to be worth it. Oof. Heck, it has some bees on there, so now we can concentrate more of it. And obviously any excess honey we could easily sell for a profit. For that in objects go there we go some more there and oh boy that is most of our money consumed I think it's all going to be worth it in the end so and at least one more there there we go I can only afford one more, so let's put that over here on our other fields. So no matter where we're farming at the moment, apart from that soybean field on 111, actually, we will have bees growing, so uh, there, there we go. So yeah, now we need a pallet spawn option, so bear with me a sec whilst I figure that out. There we go, with our choice of pallet options, so yeah, I'm thinking somewhere around here most likely. Let's just turn on our interactive marker so we can actually see where it's all spawning, so... Yep, back to bees. Uh, yeah. There we go. Now we can actually see where it's spawning. So I'm thinking lengthways like that. And again, uh, somewhere. Is it worth just living out? I think so. Let's, let's do a little, little bit of landscaping. So, turn on the brush size a little bit. So, pick a point there and I just want to level it there we go that's it that's how I like it okay that's not doing anything there we go just 
a little padded area. That's all. That's what needs to be just a little bit of a raised area. Somewhere that we can work with our equipment. So when we, yeah. So when we go and move these pallets, so yeah. So soft in the edges. Let's try something different. Let's try, let's try a little bit of gravel. Sure, why not? There we go. And all this is just for an area that's going to be spawning our honeys. So, yeah, say as you wish about that. But I'm thinking, actually, well, I quite like it. Just a little dedicated area. So, it's close to where we're spawning. Well, going to be making our apple honey. Also, it's not too far away from the pallet storage facility, so it's a win-win situation for us, so <coughs> don't think we're going to get over there. You know what? That is fine. We spent more than enough money already, so there we go. That's it. If anything, it's worse. Not screw it. That will do. Find me. So yeah, let's have a look here. So yeah, this is going to be where our honey's spawn in here. So yeah, if we need to, we can move over here. And all that good stuff. And yeah, a lot of this, we're just going to save up now and sell in December, so... We are going to need a bit of honey, so actually a fair amount of more honey. Let's spend the rest of our money on some honey. So we go to down here on our mods, and where is it? To there we go. This will pad it. So honey, where's that? To there we go. We got four thousand pounds left. So yep, yeah, not much. Let's go and get that collected. And there we go. It, it's just gone three o'clock. Skip to the time a little bit. So yep, yeah, fifty-two hundred euros of honey going in. Bingo bamo. That is done. And do we have our first apple honey? Apple juice. Juice, but no apple honey as of yet. Only at 207 litres, so pretty disappointing. That's not me right there. Don't need any of this at the moment. All we need is this. We're still keeping that lease out, so that's going to help us with our harvesting. So, yeah, we'll put that somewhere over here. Yeah, we just need that for the rest of the week, so heck it, let's use it. Definitely save us on transport, and it does fit with silos, so that's that is a plus, so yeah, I think now what we'll have to do is just start doing the harvest. There we go. It's a tad filthy for doing all these contracts. But you know what? Yeah, I can live with that. So that, that's that folded. Wheels are up. Lower it. Turn it on. Go just making sure everything is properly adjusted. And let's harvest. So I don't think we get short from this. No, we do not. I didn't think so. 
Yes, I've got this to do, and also got a soybean field on one, one, one. Field one to the oven. So yeah, I think this is going to yield up extremely well for us. I know we're going to get the effects of the honey in that, or from the bees that run the fields, but... Actually, it doesn't even affect field bees. I wonder, but... Even if you don't, it's the aesthetic of it. We get honey for the apple juice. And anything extra is purely for profit. We'll sell it whenever it has been priced, which is what? Ooh, harvesting contracts, potatoes. Field 80. That's one of those fields up there. North. Very small. Uh, do we do that field though? I wonder. We'll leave it there for now. Got a couple of size contracts, but yeah, what was on about again? Yeah, the price. So go up here to the prices. So honey, there it is. Best time to sell is around February or March. Get around 3300. At the moment, we can get 2700, 2850, 2900, almost 3000 at the farmer's market. So that's a really good price for that. But that is going down, though. That's the thing. But, anyways, I think you've got a lot of harvesting to do. So, yeah. Best way to get this done is via a time lapse, as always. So yeah, we'll avoid the pylons, as we always do. Make sure we don't hit them. And we're still getting caught up on them, so there we go. But yeah, we'll get this done. And why was that automatically saving? Huh? Ah, oh, connection. Great. Anywho, minor server interference sorted and dealt with. So yeah, let's get all this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards once we're done. And yeah, it's going to be towards the evening, I think. It's going to take at least the rest of the day to get all these fields done.
are done with the harvesting, almost actually, we still have one field left of field beans to do, and that is on the big field down south. But yeah, first of all, we're going to enter this rotten way, but we've got potatoes to sell. Done a little cheeky contract on field 80, so we've got 62,000 years of potatoes. So will that net us some uh, money, so... Actually, ooh. Wait, ah, no, good thing we didn't do that, because we're at the wrong cell point. I thought this was here, or send these potatoes. But no, we're not. It's one over here. Where is it to? Sell everything container or farmer's market? As we have a little quick all save here. There we go. So, yeah, contracts. Market stall. Fair enough. Now, when I saw it was somewhere up here, I thought it was going to be the farmer's market here or something, but no, it's the market stall. Fair enough. So. Is this cell point here to our right? Okay, dokey, so. But yeah, so we've got the field being sorted. As I said, we've still got the big field down there on the bottom left to do. But yeah, I'll say we've got a reasonable amount of field beans. I think somewhere around like the 65, 70,000 year mark. And ooh, that's gone up. Fifty six percent transported. And now sell to that little bit. And hopefully who's three hundred bits we got. Oh no. No 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 no. Not doing that pathetic way. Not by the green door, so oh, apologies there, cat come rushing in my room, but yeah, so Let's see how much we actually get, so I'd be surprised if we make a profit from this. Or do you make much profit doing take contracts? Eh, uh, four grand, so in comparison, not too bad, especially where we've borrowed the equipment, so you know what, that I can live with. But now, let's go over to our harvester. As we're just finishing off the head and over here, so because yeah, I think if we get the head and sword head and that, and then we'll just get the worker off on this, and then they'll be happy to eat. So, yeah, trader over there. Head and is now completed. Yeah, I'm actually interested to see. If yeah, I'll work on this. And actually do it well. I'll say so, yeah, because we've done the head and that, and so most of the worst bits is going to be fine. And actually, I don't even have the space in the tray for this field, I'm not sure. Because it is one of our biggest, not biggest, Philippine fields. In terms of hectorage, so. But yeah, let's give it a crack, shall we? So. So go off an angle like that, that's fine. In what that I am happy with. But yeah, 77,000 a year, so it's gonna be close, but I think we should be fine for this. Yeah, I'm not too sure, but let's give it a crack, shall we? So I think if I just need to work on this, and yeah, doing that contract has helped us quite a bit, just in terms of, yeah, having issues with financials. Ooh, break, 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 break. There we go. There we go, we'll sort it out. Oh, 
outside of this is just a, a bit of to get close to it without it saying it's a lot of collision, but there we go. So yeah, let's see which way the worker's gonna go. Good, it's gonna do that way, so we can do this bit here by ourselves. So then again these workers manage fine. But yeah, let's actually have to cut some contracts we can do so thinking pine creek yeah, we'll do those. There we go. And yeah, I'll have to borrow some equipment obviously from the deer ship to be able to mow and all that, so but yeah we can deal with that. What they are is because it's quite a big old trader. Let's not forget, we've got 8 million thousand a year of Philippines and counting. So, yeah, we're at the point now where it's a bit of that equilibrium. So, actually, whilst that's underway, we scoot off and have a look at some equipment we are going to be using in the next episode. Yeah, that we attended on. Ooh, yeah, also got some mulching to start doing. So yeah, what my thinking is, yeah, actually, I think we can get away with just the one. I think we'll use both anyways, regardless. So actually, got a little idea rather than. Time to use work or something because I want to try to save our finances because until we sell everything in December and that that's going to be an issue for us and our workers blocked apparently oh girls come on if we get you on there we go yeah just scoot up that actually start the war. Okay, yes you are. Fair enough. But yeah, my thinking is no, not that one, this John Deere. But yeah, let's go to the shop and have a look at the equipment we are using for sugar beet harvest. Let's give it a little secret peek at it right now. And there we go, at the deer ship. So yeah, we've got a few things here, so go and lower that, undo the tension straps, actually what first of all what we need to do as well is disconnect the front loader, there we go, so yeah this is going to be a weird thing, technically we can do it with just the one equipment, but yeah I'll just have a little bit of fun with this so Actually, which one's going to be the more horsepower requirement? So, that is the harvester itself. Which makes sense. So, if we get that hooked up, there we go. And then we just hook onto this, drive off. But yeah, the plan is going to be to obviously, the sugar beet. You need to horn top the field, so that's the thing. We do have options in that for obviously harvesting the sugar beef. We have a look, so beef technology. Obviously, this is what we're using the Grimmy, or will be using. And yeah, we could do use a normal header in that, and that's fine. But yeah, I just don't like that, so. The only downside is 6,000 year capacity. In comparison to, if we use beat technology, we're looking at what we're looking at 30,000 liters, 45,000 liters. Oh, yeah, even got some mods now. Got the Colossus Root Harvester, got the Grimmy Maxtron 620. 
and then we've got the Home Terados T440, which is what the, I think, yeah, the closest base of that, right? Yeah, in a way, yeah, more or less, so. Yeah, it looks very similar. But anyway, so that's what we're going to be using. Obviously, you need to transport it not like this. So, if we start to fold in. Apparently, that's still folding. How about now? There we go. But yeah, what you do is you pull on this, so we have the look. Pretty much see how it goes. You pretty much sport to your field in question. So you miss the lineup. So yeah, all you do is you tow to the field and then it unfold it, hook up by your fire front or rear. I think the rear would be the best way to go. And then yeah, we just go and harvest this. Obviously, we're not quite ready yet. We've got another week or so, I think. I think it's in its final growth state now, so the next episode is what we'll be doing. But yeah, it's just something different to do. So yeah, I think this would be very good use for us, but I think to round off the episode, what we'll do is one more little time lapse. So we will get you sorted. But yeah, I think we need to empty the combine first of all. So yeah, let's get all this done. And then, yeah, I'll see you folks in about an hour or so. Yeah, just around after 10 before port pass. It's going to be a little short time lapse here, so yeah, we'll get this done. And I'll see you folks afterwards, and hopefully, we should have all the fields harvested now.
make the soybeans here to harvest, so let's try to get close. There we go. We are cooking now, and yeah, the soybeans are being put in. Still need to finish this field off, and I think we'll finish this off in the next episode or so. I did start the mulching, however, we've had some incidents with the worker going into the grass field, so if we have a look here. Uh, if we see, go to our growth state, if you have easier to see. That has reset the growth state, so. Oh, there hiccups there, so yeah. That's reset the growth state, and yeah, that ain't great, because if we have a look, the grass, that stops growing in, wait a minute, November. We planted this, this um, in September, right? I'm sure we did, so... Well, it takes one month for the grass to grow, maybe? Who knows on that part, but... Hey, who? Yeah, so... Okay, the worker's gonna do that way. If we're gonna do that, I'll just... Uh, you know what? Screw it, so let do whatever. But yeah, also we have some... Apple honey. Uh, so you can go to, oh man, they're heavy. 1.1 tons compared to apple juice, which is literally half that, so I think when we move these, we're gonna need more than just the skits here now, but at some point we need to put these into the pallet, so I think if we skip time, can we even lift? I apple juice and the honey pallet because that's what's going to come next. So I think it's going to be around one o'clock by the time we get a new pallet. No, even days from that. One, like four. There we go. So yeah, can we lift this up with skids here? I do wonder. Can't guess. No. Say go to here. Like one is just about fine. If I should say that on top, push over a bit. There we go. It's a strap. Can we lift this? We can. But it's only just, yeah, it's actually, if we stack it and then move it, I think it'll be fine, but. If I try to do what I normally do is that to spawn. Yeah, nope, just get out of there, not into the building. But if I want to try to do it is you just go bam bang and sack it on top like that. That ain't gonna happen, so fair enough. But yeah, what we need to do at some point is start to move this into storage. Because yeah, we've got a lot of stuff to sell come December and hopefully we can have a lorry by then but I very much doubt it maybe if we lease a lorry and then we sell it or return it and when we sell these we can afford a lorry because looking at some lorries yeah 130 grand though I may see look around like 3 grand for the Mac Pinnacle but these are American trucks yeah, that's American truck, so ideally want something a bit more European based. You know, like some of these like Volvos or the knockoff versions, but I don't know, so Okay, you're gonna do that, you're wasting money. Fine, 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 I'll just do it myself. And also I don't think it bothers which one I put in because I think I'm going to easy fill both these up. And actually, yeah, I forgot to mention how much uh, fill beans we got. So if we have a look here, scroll down, fill beans, we have a look. We've got 112,000 litres, so that is going to be well over 440 grand. Like, Close to even 500 grand come peak sale price in June. 
And yeah, for the... Actually, how much will we get for... Uh, the soybeans? Wow, we get three grand at the moment. But if we wait again till June, we can get six and a half grand for a thousand a year. So, actually, I think that's going to change on what we're going to be doing next year when it comes to planting. I was thinking about doing some wheat fields, but yeah, I'm not sure. I may just do all soybeans. I get a lot of money in. But then again, we've got productions and pretty much use the soybeans. And you can go down the route of using soybeans for production chains. I don't think that's going to beat six and a half grand. We've just got there from doing that one little strip there, so. I've got many more strips of that size to go. And if I had a guess from this field, half a million maybe. I have to get somewhere between 400 and 500 grand will make from this field. If we do, that covers the price of this field, because how much did that cost? 353 grand, so literally just from purchasing the field, not doing any seeding or anything like that, mulching, rolling, all that good stuff, we're making profit. Instead, because we have a look here, I'm sure this is all fertilizing that. But yeah, apart from being rolled and mulched, it's got a 95% yield bonus, which makes sense. Because even though some say it's 5% each, it's actually 2.5% when you work out, as shown there when it comes to the mulching and the rolling. But yeah, that also brings a question up. It's worth bullshit even worth it for two and a half percent. For soybeans, sure, you know. Getting an extra, let's say get a hundred thousand years. That's an extra two two and a half uh, thousand years. Yeah, two and a half thousand years, so that is what? An extra fourteen grand there. So yeah, sure that extra percent will help and it does make a difference. So yeah. Anywho. That's the thing we're going to leave it today. See you next time. We will finish this off. Start looking at getting the rest of these fields mulched. Worker has stopped mulching. Because, yeah, fair enough. Got to do a little strip over there. And then we've got 54 and down here to do. Include up down there and here to do as well. We got the mulching. We can pretty much leave that to the late. Because I don't think after the harvest that come when we do the grass now. That's when we again we we'll start skipping mumps. Sell the side and all that in December maybe. We'll start to produce in December and then the side sell in February, but apart from that Yeah, I don't really think there's gonna be much field work to be done. Yeah, do we, unless we want to plant wheat in that because, yeah, we can plant wheat, barley, rapeseed, oats, linseed, rye, and all that, and alfalfa. Actually, if we do alfalfa, and that is ready in what to harvest is May, we can still do a late soybean field and yeah, do that in October. But that all implies on getting the alfalfa in now. So do we risk just direct drilling? No, we're going to need to. We can't direct drill unless we get a cultivator perhaps. So let's just have a little look. So. Planters can't do alfalfa. It's only the cedars. And yet these big ones here, they can do it, but it requires um cultivation. Unless we go with, you know, one of these six, eight meters or the horse. 
one which is what? Nine meters and can do direct drilling. That's the thing for a cultivator. Uh, no, disc arrows, is it? We got, yeah, we've got this one here, and that barely fits around the lane, so. Unless we go bigger, something like that. Go with the Kinsey Mac Till. Yeah, I don't know. There's a few options what we can do here and go forwards. But anyways, that's where I'm going to leave it today. As always, hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, smash that button. Feel free to put down below. If you want to share it, then please be my guest. If you're not subscribed to yet, then please consider. But for you to do, hope you have a nice day. But for now, this will be far more Evo Extreme. And I'll see you all very soon.